this time I'd like to call the Honorable Judge Sidney Murphy, County Judge. Surveying clothes and stomping boots. Um, I also told him I don't recognize it when people call me honorable or judge. I'm, I'm still sitting. Um, I do want to say a couple of things about um, all of our firefighters and our first responders. Um, you know, if you stop and think about the sacrifices human they make, you think of them vaguely. Originally, you know, there was a fire and they handled it. There was a grass fire over here and they handled it. And, and you just kind of think of it vaguely. But if you stop and think about the fact that they get up at 2 in the morning, they don't, they're, they're not just this 8 to 5 volunteer group that shows up every so often, right? They get up at 2 in the morning, they leave their families, they leave their jobs, they go wherever they are called. Whether it's big or little or indifferent or just somewhere vague that you don't know about. So when you stop and think about that, think of the ultimate sacrifices that they're not only they make, but their families make. The other thing, too, is if you look at this group in here, they are part of the glue that holds the community together. They're your neighbors. They're your family. They're your pharmacist, your doctor, your sheriff, your law enforcement. They are everybody. People from all walks of life that sacrifice and do this. Um, I have my first official... Um, response, uh, which was the Barnum, Peyton Hill Fire, and when I and I'd never been in on the responder aspect of it, and I have to tell you, it was an eye opener. It was a huge eye opener for me. I've always had tremendous respect for these guys, but now it's a hundred times more. It looks like absolute chaos, but it's the absolute most organized chaos. Everyone's doing their job, doing it quickly, doing it well, saving lives, saving homes, saving everything they possibly can. On my way up there, I was talking to God, and I said, Look, just please don't let anybody lose their lives. Well, then when I spoke to Larry Pitts, he said, No, 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 no injuries, no lives lost. Well, then I got greedy, you know, so then I talked to God again. I said, Look, could, you, could we just save their homes? And so then I talked to Larry Pitts and he said, no, no homes lost, no lives, no. everything is good. So then, of course, my next negotiation was, can we just save the pets and the livestock? <laughs> so prayers were answered by God, but they were also answered by a lot of volunteers that showed up. By a huge outpouring of multiple firefighters, multiple responders, multiple counties, cities, I, you couldn't even name them. We had enough Gatorade there to float the whole community that got donated. So I do want to say thanks to all of you all. And my respect from you for you has just risen exponentially watching you in action. So thank you for all that you do for Polk County and every other county that's around us. Thanks.